So, what can I do for you? What? Oh, I remember. Take the one that can cross rivers and mountains and mate it with a wonderful chocobo, which you can catch around these parts. That'll get you a chocobo that can cross the ocean. Oh, yeah. You'll need a nut. Now, which one was it? I can't remember. guy from the pipe went off somewhere, stumbling as he went. He was muttering, reunion starting. I've stopped looking up or down. From now on, I'm going to look straight ahead. What am I saying? There's more important things. We're soldier. They do something about this. No matter what happens, you gotta hold your ground and show no- It's empty. What the hell is going on with this crazy world? That's it, isn't it? We're all doomed. Yeah, but what can we do about it? All you ever do is agree with me. Don't know what's what me till the very end.
could have sworn there was some... Shinra has seized this m ha ha Welcome, please sit wherever Please Hello Let's see One Yaki Miku We have a cash Thank you Sorry to have kept you waiting Let's see Thank you. Stop pushing. So you're dressed normally today, huh? If you come up with any more ideas, be sure to run them by. Welcome! It's at times like these that you need to be built like a brick. Come on, get with the program. Well? more stuff you found lying around, right? Yeah, but I'm not sure you'll see something as... Let's see... What kind of price? Much obliged!
Where's my key? They say Shinra's gathering huge materia from around the world. They must need to use their planes. I've noticed the recent influx of ship. Maybe Shinra's thinking... Can I help? If you see a... careful because you're going to marry me one day you've got to be more careful because you're going to marry me one day if you want to use the elevator that badly hey Army is currently on a mission to recover. If everything goes to plan, it'll be loaded at the end. You should leave with what? Once they recover this one, they'll take them all to the airport and ship them off to Rocky Village by Guernica. Be on your guard. So, they finally decided to remove that huge material. Imagining things, but isn't there something missing? Come on in. Welcome. Hi. Whoa! 
welcome. I just... Welcome. I just... Welcome. down the bar, but I got my regulars to think of. I'm not allowed to quit. Shot. like me should suffer that. Well, what was the weapon?
Well, how about the last one standing gets to take her out? All right, you're on. But what if both of Whoa, don't even. Hey, come on, back to work. <sighs> Don't get enough. For Junon! Oh, so close.
could have sworn there was some... Master Cloud! to the huge materia! The huge materia! They're going to transport it with the sun! Just made it. Either hand it over, or we'll take it from you. Which way do you want it? Unfortunately, I don't have time to bring you to the... My priority is the huge material.
Damn! The submarine! We, we have to go after it! Come on! Sub? Well, come and get it! Um, sir? Maybe we shouldn't piss them off? Victory pose a battle! All right then! Make this your first victory! Show them what you're made of! Yes! Begin the final training! Yes, sir! <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> it goes fast! Let's charge! Take them... Someone, please. I just can't take it anymore. The lack of space, the shaking, the engine. What are we gonna do? We stole a submarine, but we can That's more like it. No sweat. Just leave it to me. You can do it, Cloud. Thank you. I am happy to be your prisoner. Thank you. I am happy... Now what? Preparations complete. Start the mid. Read the mid. Alright, here it is. Main controls. Press menu to advance. Cancel. So we're after the Red Leader submarine carrying the huge materia. It's currently. A great number of sea mines have also been deployed. The seabed can only be analyzed by Shinra's special sonar. Enemy submarines outside the sonar range are undetectable. Lock on to enemy submarines by centering them in your view screen. Then fire torpedoes with switch. Mines are displayed on top of the fluctuating columns of light on the view screen. They will inflict heavy damage if disturbed, so be careful. Uh. And of course our objective is to sink the Red Leader submarine carrying the huge materia. But the time limit to do that is... 10 minutes. Hints, interesting. Number one, center the enemy in your view screen. Number two, when you are locked on, fire torpedoes. Preparations complete. Start the mission. Hmm? This switch here?
The huge materia should have sunk to the bottom of the sea with the submarine. Let's go in search. All units, do you copy? All units, do you copy? Hmm? Must be from Shinra. Unit 2, please respond. Unit 2? That was written in the passageway. It's the submarine! Okay, I'll do my best. This is Unit 2. Everything is normal. Roger. We are sending your new orders. Return to the dock at Junon immediately. The huge materia is to be dispatched from the airport. Those with no further orders will be assigned to guard duty. That is all. Over and out. Junon Airport. We can make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge materia for now. We're surfacing. to drive a submarine. So this is the sub we sank. <laughs> it makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge materia recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. Ah, <sighs> what a relief. This is a Guernica-class Shinra airship. I wonder how it ended up down. destinies are linked of late, eh? This airship is packed with materia and hardware, developed solely to combat Sephiroth. But it was attacked by a weapon, and sent to the bottom of the sea. We can't allow you to get your hands on all the goodies here. We'll be the ones that defeat Sephiroth. 
So, I guess this will be your final resting place. Yeah. We can't let you get in our way. are pretty tough. This airship holds Shinra's latest weapons. Is this the cargo hold? There's even a Mako generator. Maybe some kind of research facility?
It looks like some kind of key. It's really old. Analysis complete. Exact date of origin unknown. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Several thousand years? The ancients?
if you want to use Hey. Obvious rocket tail. Let me. Is Shinra serious about launching that rundown old rocket? What's young President Rufus planning to do with all those mechanics? Wow, what a show. Something exciting finally going to happen?
damn it! What the hell do they think they're doing about Rook? Let's go, Cloud. We'll get those Shinra crap heads right out of there! Expecting root of the Turks. Too bad. He's out there in the heat. Oh man. A Turk done in like that. Well, you're not getting past me. Materia bomb on board and are going to smash it into meteor. Our rocket is going to save the planet! Cool or what? Hang on! Shut the hell up! Shut your track! How's the rock? It's okay. More or less. See, we did plan to hit meteor using the autopilot, but. A crucial part broke. Broke? How do the repairs go? Uh, well, Shara's on it. Great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. It'll take a hundred years if you leave it to that woman. I'll handle this. Don't need no damned autopilot. Hey, 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 hey! Go let them all know! Chop, chop! All right, Captain. We'll leave the rest to you. Sid, what do you think you're doing? Materia contains knowledge and wisdom passed down from ancient times. That power can help us save the planet from Sephiroth. We can't afford to lose the huge Materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I get it. I understand Materia's precious. And I know what you're thinking. But listen. I don't give a rat's ass whether it's the power of science or the power of magic that saves the day. Actually, no. I guess if I had to choose, I'd be gunning for the power of science. Man used to crawl on the ground. Now he can fly. And at long last, he's about to go into space. Science is a power created and nurtured entirely by human hands. And science might just be what saves our planet. I was able to earn a living thanks to science. So for me, there's no greater thing. You can't keep obsessing over what Shinra will or won't do. I don't want to have any regrets later on. But Sid... Shut the hell up! All you have are ifs and buts. It's time for me to get cracking. Seeing as you're not involved, get the hell out of my sight! Move it! What the? Hey, hey! Bobber, what the hell are you playing at? They said they finished the autopilot! So, I love it! Damn it, Shira! Why'd you pick the date again fast? 
Shit. No response. It's completely locked down. Hey, hey, hey! Almost lift off! Huh? No countdown. Just didn't the same without it. Hey! Hey, hey! Lift off! Finally made it. I'm in outer space. So, how is the course set? Yep, we're heading straight for Meteor. Can't we do something like this? Where? Oh, look, Palmer's kindly locked down the autopilot for us. There's no way to change course now. So that's it then. Say, you're still young, aren't you? Can't give up that easy. I have no intention of meeting a fool's head crashing into that godforsaken rock. Look, there's an escape pod just for times like these. Okay, I've opened the lock on the escape pod. We'll bail right before this crashes into meteor. What about the huge materia? If you want the materia, go and get it. It should be above. Use that ladder. Are you sure? I don't know. I know what I said before, but... Maybe... All I wanted to do was go into space with this rock. So, I think you should do whatever you feel is right. Hey, Clap, if you're going for the materia... Finally, the huge materia. The lock can be opened by entering a passcode with this control... No, there's a control panel. Enter passcode. Clap, you know how to use this, right? Every time it says enter key, press red, blue, if you punch in the right code. So in what order am I supposed to enter the passcode? Elefando, just try punching. Enter key one. The player cheated.
luck out of this piece of crap! Sid! It's no good! I can't lift it! It's too heavy! Forget about me! Just go! The rocket's gonna crash in the meteor! You don't have time! There's no way I'm leaving a friend behind. You idiot! This ain't the time to worry about others! The least I can do is try. You're an idiot! You know that?! Tank 8 exploded. So Tank 8... really was on the fritz. Shira, you were right. But... it's the end of the line for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shira? I tagged along. Here, let me help. You stupid, foolish, little... fool! So sorry. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Quickly, I'll detach the escape pod. Shira, will this crappy pod actually work? It's fine. I've been checking it up until now. Then we're safe. <laughs> Thank you. Outer space. Oh, man. It's space. So long, sh Rufus's plan failed. I know how this sounds, but I kinda hoped it'd work. We've been getting in their way every turn. No, there's nothing left to try. Have we made a mistake? Makes you worry, doesn't it? We can't worry. We have to think. Yeah, the girl's right. You start down that road and there'll be no stopping it. Things'll just go from bad to worse. Well, you're pretty damn optimistic. 
Yeah. I've been thinking a lot recently. While traveling to space, while looking down on our planet, then adrift in the escape pod bobbing about of the ocean. I've been thinking too. About the universe. The planet. The sea. So big and vast. Maybe no matter what we do, we're just too insignificant to make any real difference. Maybe. But see, this is the way I figure it. Our planet may seem big, but it's nothing compared to space. Think about it. It's just floating around in a huge void, helpless and alone. And to top it all off, Zephyroth's in its belly, festering away like a disease. That's why I say our planet's a child, a little kid, sick and trembling in the middle of this gigantic universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow? Ain't we that someone? Sid, that was beautiful. Damn, man. Who even got to me? So what's the plan? How are we gonna protect the planet from me? I'm still working on that. Huh? Did you... Hear something? A celestial scream? Meteor? Or is it our planet? Hey, how do you know what it is? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see Grandpa. To Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to help us. Maybe Bugenhagen can tell us something. That old guy Bugenhagen, huh? And I don't get him at all. At first I thought he was a nature lover, but he lives his life surrounded by machines. This is between you and me, but Bugenhagen's always been a Shinra regular. Oh, don't get me wrong, he's never bought Mako or weapons. This is between Bugenhagen. Oh, don't get In other news, I've just noticed that the ship's been modified. With all the extra switches and levers, little wonder I'm feeling confused. Hurry! Hurry! Let's go see Grandpa! The machines in Cosmo Canyon were largely gifts from Professor Gast, surrounded by Shinra's machines, consumed by the mysteries of the planet. Science and the planet live side by side in that old man's heart. Do we leave? Oh, you've returned. This is terrible, isn't it? That the children are too scared to go outside now. To be honest, I wish... Oh! 
If you are ever in need of my wisdom, you are always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we've come. What? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a long, hard look at ourselves. There may be something you have overlooked. Something very deep in your heart. Try to remember. I'm sure you'll find what it is you're missing. That's easy enough to say, but I don't remember. It must be there. Look harder. It's no good. Hey, Cloud, let's bring in the others. Well, can you see what it is you're looking for? Nope, not a bloody thing. I don't get any of this. I'm... remembering Aerith all of a sudden. No, that's not it. I'm not remembering, because I didn't forget. No, that's not it either. How do I put it? Aerith was there all along, right by our side. She was so close by that we completely missed it. The things that she did, and the words she left behind. Now that you mention it, I've thought about it too. Me too. Yeah, and me. She said that she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Aerith is gone. Is it impossible for us to do what she was trying to do? What can we do? We ain't no ancients. Why'd she go to that place anyway? That's it! Uh, what's it? We don't even know why. What was Aerith doing there? Why didn't she try to escape with Sephiroth? Yeah. Maybe we should go back there. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have you take me along. You want to come too, Grandpa? Oh, don't sound so surprised. I like seeing some of the world now and again, but I wonder what's made me feel like this all of a sudden. It's been so long. It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Does it ever shut up? Oh, shall we? Oh yeah, Bugenhagen. I need one more favor. We're carrying around these huge materials. Since they're kind of delicate, we'd like to leave them in a safe place. Ho 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 ho! Then shall we put them... I'll teach you how to operate the machine. Uh, watch Kim. Oh, so this is huge materia. It is very rare indeed. Materias like these may even possess hidden knowledge. Huge materia. It's glowing in. This color. Huge materia. It's glowing. This color. Huge materia. It's glowing. Better leave it alone. Go back there. Better leave it alone. Huge mat- It's glow- This color. Huge materia. It's glowing. This- Huge, it's this color. Huge, it's this color. Huge, it's glowing. Is this Bahamut? Thank <laughs> you. 
huge it's huge it's this huge it's this color Huge materia, it's glowing. This huge, it, this huge material, it's glowing. Ho, 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 ho. Do you remember how to come back whatever you wish to? Ho, ho, ho. Machinery, I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature. Hmm, the deck is up there. Well then, I'll be spending some time about one can almost smell the right. I have my hands full right now. Never mind. What are the airship? Oh, I'm so. Oh, you do joke. What? You should go. I told Elmira about Eris' death. She couldn't have stopped crying. And poor wee Marlene too. Aerith. Well, she dead. So, now she's traveling the planet as spiritual energy, even if she is. I guess we'll never see her again. I wonder how Aerith felt on the way to that altar. I'm sure she was ready to lay down her life for the planet. Really? I don't- I suspect she never even thought about dying. I- Aerith always talked that way. Next, after this, later, she talked about the future more than anyone. I wanted to give her a ride on the high wind. <sighs> Aerith. I wanted to give her a ride- Aerith used to pat me on the nose sometimes, even though I hated being treated like a child. Somehow, she always got the better of me. I wanted to apologize to her for what happened when we first met. The city of <laughs> ancients. The day may come when we too are referred to. <laughs> okay.
help.
Huge material. It's glowing. This color. Huge material. It's this color.
Oh, it's a hot spring. Well, that's game. Leave it to me.
Looks like we'll...
Looks like Looks like we'll... 